Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boring Company and Elon Musk. So today's episode is going to be based on this tweet by uh, Mark Spiegel, the number one fudster for Tesla and now the Boring Company it seems to appear. This is not the first time he has criticised the Boring Company, I have mentioned him in the past. I, I believe this is three tweets now where he's starting to mention the Boeing Company. He's starting to uh, build this kind of storyline of the Boeing Company being some kind of failed project that was doomed to fail from the beginning with some part of Elon's master plan to cheat money out of the people of LA, which is complete garbage. And frankly, it's so frustrating to see um, articles like this being used as a tool by this pathetic man. So, it, it relates to this site here. I've done a previous episode on this site. Uh, it's in west of LA. I'll show you on the map in a minute. They acquired this site. It was the plan to put a tunnel under Sepulveda Boulevard. I believe that was linking the purple line. And it turns out that all the work they put into that, all the planning, has led to nothing because they were essentially um, sued and they decided that it wasn't really worth the effort trying to fight the law case. So they decided to settle out of court and they never went ahead with the project. They probably didn't even pay any money. They just, just sort of gave up on the idea of this project, which at this stage doesn't really matter because we have lots of other projects on the go. So let's have a look. So we've got Mark Spiegel uh, saying that we've abandoned the plan for this tunnel. Now, this tunnel or this project was never given a name. It was never listed on the Boeing Company website. It was never mentioned in any kind of press conference by Elon Musk or anyone who was part of the Boeing Company team. It was just basically an idea or a proposal. Um, as you can see, I have replied. That's my opinion, guys. If you want to have a chat with this guy as well, be my guest. He needs to be educated. This is the article. As I've said in the past, the Curb writes a lot of stuff about the Boeing Company, which is great. We like the publicity. However, it is maybe a tiny bit negative sometimes. However, I don't mind that as long as they're pretty neutral and we get some good and we get some bad. And it, it sort of evens itself out. So that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, so just reading this paragraph here. According to a joint statement from the company and a group of community activists who sued over the project earlier this year, the matter has been amicably settled and the Boeing Company will not construct the tunnel after all. And it relates to this here. So, Brentwood residents are suing the city due to the justification for the must to create a tunnel via an exemption for an environmental review. And what they're saying, that there is a, a large environmental impact if this project was allowed to be built because it would cause lots of traffic on the roads in Brentwood and the surrounding area and thus that would make their lives a misery. Now, that sounds quite rich coming from a community that suffers from a lot of congestion already and this is only going to have a minor impact on that already terrible congestion and in the long term will actually lead to less congestion severely less congestion in that in that area so we need to fix the problem first before we start saying you know this is going to cause more problems and it even the problems it will cause will be only in the short term obviously this is a bit of a blow because it, it would be good if we could build a tunnel here and then link it up later on with maybe the tunnel in Hawthorne at a later date. Uh, however, it's not going ahead. It doesn't matter. We have lots of other projects in the works. As you know, if you watch this channel, you like and subscribe, which I hope you do. You will know there are lots and lots of different projects going underway for the Boeing Company. 
which is a startup and has only just popped up and has done very well for itself over the last 18 years to two, 18, sorry, 18 months to two years. So not worth, not worth worrying about. If, if Spiegel thinks this is some kind of huge capitulation by the Boeing company, then he's not done his research. He clearly hasn't done his research. He's just read this article and he's thought to himself, you know what, I can spin this in a really negative light and make it out as though this is, and there we are, a fraud. Now, it, it is far from a fraud. Mark Spiegel is a fraudster. 99% of the stuff he posts on his Twitter feed is utter garbage and based on very few facts. He'll take a tiny snippet of information and he'll twist it in his own way to fit his own agenda so then he can get more people to sell Tesla or he himself can short the stock and get the price down. And that's his only aim in life. He practically sits on the toilet in the morning and, and goes on his laptop. If you've not seen the pictures, guys, Google, Google it. He sat on his toilet, brushing his teeth while he's on the, uh, the old Twitter writing garbage like this. That's, that's, that's how he is. That's who he is, yeah? In a year's time, I don't think this guy will be around. But we'll have to see. He might survive 18 months. You never know. Let's have a look. So here's Brentwood. The project was going to link, I believe, somewhere around here, VA uh, Healthcare Centre. So South Sethpool Vida Boulevard is here. I believe the plot of land was somewhere around here somewhere but yeah Brentwood where's Brentwood here it is Brentwood so I presume Brentwood Brentwood Heights Brentwood Brentwood Park so it's quite a, a, a fair way away as you know I do not like NIMBYs I don't like people who just complain about a project just on the basis of they don't like new, they don't like new things happening in their neighborhood and they just want to moan about things and they don't really see the big picture of how this can transform LA and cut down on traffic. The fact that it's underground and you can't see it is a damn good reason to build it. But they don't care. They are happy. They've got used to the traffic now and the congestion and they're just happy with it. So, you know, F everyone else. It doesn't really matter if other people are stuck in traffic. As long as they're happy in their little gated communities and their big houses... They don't really care about the rest of LA. But that's how it is. That's how NIMBYs operate. I've seen them on many, many different projects all across the world. They all operate the same. They do not care about other people. They only care about their own interests. And they offer no solutions. They're just problem makers. There you go, guys. Problems in paradise. But don't worry, the Chicago project is coming along. We have Haw Hawthorne Tunnel is going to open on the 10th of December. So what's that, about 13 days away? So everything's going very well. As far as I know, the Washington uh, project to Baltimore is progressing well. And obviously we've got the dugout loop. So all in all, it's going well, guys. So I'll see you next week. Uh, don't be boring. See you soon. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.